Hey guys, how are you? <sighs> Sorry about being little of you, Foxy. Oh, she's so foxy tonight. Oh, good lord, let me change my light. There we go. Ooh, yes. Alright, hey guys, how are you? What? Is it the day after, two days after Christmas? I am so happy to see you guys. What's happening? My name is Artist Nicole, and I own Artful Nights Main. And tonight we are painting Foxy. Foxy Lady. <laughs> Forgive me for being a couple minutes late. You guys caught me with my pants down. Not really, because if you did, well, let me just tell you what, I'd be naked. I'd be the naked art teacher. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys, thanks for joining me. This is a absolutely beautiful painting. Okay? I love you all. Name's Artist Cole. I have Artful Nights Maine. My rules are absolutely simple. You guys joining me for the first time. You eat, you drink, you drink extra. And you have a fabulous time. And other than that, I have no rules, right? All you guys have to do is paint. You have fun. You get a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Make love to your friends. Make love to your lovers. And uh, and that's it. And Foxy tonight. That's what I'm saying. Hello, Lynn Carey. Hello, Jessica Pierce. Hello, Pris Patricia Poisson. Hello, Shannon Lehman LaRusso from Pennsylvania, Dutch country. I love it. Um, good. Audrey Hayward, Eldron Recon from Michigan. Holy guacamole. How is it up there? Is it nice and cold in Michigan? I bet it is, Lake Michigan. Big up there. Hello, Christina Warwick. How you doing? I'm a little bit behind tonight. I'm running a little. Oh, Anita Robinson. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Brandy Marchetti. Hi, baby. Elrod Record. Hey, hey. Debbie Peterson. Hi from Canada. How you doing? Oh, Canada. I love it. So, you guys, I'm going to get you started tonight because. Foxy is going to be Washington State. Hey, sweet love, Sharon Milsner, Sarah. Whoops, hello from upstate New York. Hello, Sarah Abigail Sayward, Diane Shaw from Northern Maine. Hey, hey, you guys are from all over the country. I love it. Vivian Shrita, hi from Canada. Glenda Wilson, you get naughty tonight or what? Brian Rails back. How you doing, Brian? Give me my rails back. <laughs> you stealing my rails. Anyways, so tonight, you guys, I'm going to get you started. Because let me tell you what. This fox is, it's a little bit more involved in the holiday paintings we did. But you know what I know? I know all you cuckoo cuckoo is you got this. You got this. You are a superstar tonight. Sheila Mac, Sheila Mac. All right, Canada, Northwest Territories. Yeah, my parents have a home, some home in Newfoundland. I love me some Canada. Jen White, hey, Jen White from upstairs. Not bad. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's get you going. Let's have a foxy good time tonight. I want you guys getting foxy. That's right. Say it to yourselves, Foxy, Foxy Lady. Okay, and uh, what else was I going to tell you? Something about something, but I can't remember what it is, so that's all right. Okay, so first thing I'm going to have you little whippa snappers do, okay? You are going to make a big pile of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to take a big pile of blue. We're going to take about a tablespoon of that blue. Let me show you this. Annette Canada. Sarah Marie Jones from Maine. How you do do? Do 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 do. Okay, we're going to have you take some blue. 
Now, this is going to be unusual, okay? I'm going to have you add about a teaspoon of green to it. See that? And then you're going to say, Nicole, what are you doing, girl? That's all right. That's all right. We've never done anything like this before. Had you add a little drop of black, okay? So what you guys have here is you have about two tablespoons of blue. I got one teaspoon of green and then like a quarter teaspoon of black. Okay, that's our foundation color. Shelly Mac. Oh my God, I want to go up to Canada and see moves, girl. Oh, moves it. Okay. Now, you little whippersnappers, what I am going to do with you is I'm going to have you grab your medium brush. Okay, we're just going to use this for mixing. And we're going to call this medium brush in lieu of my Shelly Mac from Canada. We're going to call this the Moose. Okay, this is the Moose. All right, it's male moose. You got horns. <laughs> Hello, Diane from New Brunswick. I love you too. Okay. So, I tell you, this is a quite a big amount, and what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all together. And this is going to be our foundation for our entire painting, okay? And when you guys get this all mixed together, well, pretty much it's going to look like pfft, who did it and ran, okay? But that's all right. That's what we want. Who did it and ran up there next to the fox? Okay? So it's going to look like a green pile of mishmash. Just like that. All right? We're going to mix it together. Now, it is going to cover three quarters of my plate. Okay? For this painting, I want you guys to have two paint plates. All right? So we have made almost quarter of a thing of... And now, what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you cut that right in half. Okay? Right in half. So half of that is going to stay like it is. Or actually, maybe just a quarter of it. We're going to leave a quarter of it. And then the rest of it, we're going to move like this. And now you have no idea what I'm doing, and I get that. But let me show you one second. Okay, I'm separating it on my plate. I still got my big old caca moops brush, right? See that? So I've got about a fourth of this that I'm leaving just as is, okay? And then the rest I've moved over here. Now, what we're going to do with this big pile, not the little quarter pile, is... You right? What happened? We're out of Christmas time. We're back to Irish music. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this is my white. What I'm going to have you guys do is you are going to add a teaspoon of white to that mishmash pot. But the way, okay? So here we go. Teaspoon of white to this mishmash. So we're leaving a quarter of it, the original color, and then you guys are going to add a teaspoon of white to three quarters of that pile. Okay, and you're going to mix it all together. And what's going to emerge, you guys, is your beautiful color. Now you're going to be able to see that color, okay? Diane from New Brunswick, you guys all paying attention. I love it. Okay. Now, I've taken just a little recap. Big old two tablespoons of blue. I'm watching, so please let me know when you go live again. I'll get some canvases. You got it, Jessica Sanders. It'll be a week, baby girl, but you can do this one on my page. Okay. And I added a teaspoon of green to my dark blue. I added a quarter of a teaspoon of black to my dark blue. Took a quarter of that, left it alone. Three quarters of that, moved it over. And I added about a teaspoon of white, okay? 
and the color that we're left with, will this be saved so I can do it later? Yes, Caleb Faulkner. <laughs> Every time I say Faulkner. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. So what we're going to do with this stuff that we just made we added a little bit of what, oh, I'm sorry, Caleb, I've gotten into the question. So I got a little, I got a little distracted by your name. Okay, big guy. So yes, this will be on my page for a week. And in a number of days, when I get around to it, I'm also going to move it to my YouTube. So I got a YouTube channel, Caleb. You can do this forever and ever. Okay, baby? <laughs> Caleb Faulkner. <laughs> okay, here we go. to the meat of the foxy. All right? So everybody's going to grab their big old brush. And tonight, I know we named the media moose. One is bigger than a moose up in Canada. Not quite sure. So we're going to name this one. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, big guy. Okay. We're going to name this one the great white beluga whale. All right, so every time I say pick up your beluga wheel, you know I mean your biggest brush, okay? And what I am going to do with my beluga is polar bear. Jeez, what was I thinking? All right, all right, we're going to call it a little titmouse, the polar bear. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my beluga is I'm going to take a little bit of that color that I just made. Not the quarter that was the original color with no white. I'm using the one with the white on it. I'm loading up my beluga. That's a beluga face. Okay. <laughs> and we're coming in. And you guys are going to bring this dark beluga color in just like this. You're going to grab that beluga and you are going to stroke it, baby. Stroke it like it's hot. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, stroke it like it's hot. Just like that. Woo, baby. Okay, and this is this full on deep color. We want one quarter of this side to be a deep blue. Okay, this color right here. So we're bringing that beluga. I'm stroking towards my beluga. Okay, look at that, baby. And just about that much. Can you see that? Just about that much. Stroking towards my beluga. Okay. There we go. And you guys want to do nice, gentle, light strokes. Even if you're aggressive and you know who you are out there. You know the... <laughs> that want to beat that canvas, okay? So, you guys, feel free. We're going to bring this deep color right to about here, okay? And then what I'm going to do, because I am so good, is I'm going to paint the outside just like this. And there we go, all right? Now, you guys, feel free to use that pause feature. Okay, that's what it's there for. Yes, sir. All right. There you go. Look how easy that was. Jeez Louise. My gosh, it doesn't get any easier than that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this mixture that I just made, okay, the one that I just used, and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of white. Okay, here we go. Boom chuck a lock up. Let me show you what it is. All right. Put that up. Jesus Pride is painting my chair. That's okay. So here we go. Let's take a look. All right. See that? There's that. There's my original color. Here's my color that I just mixed right here. Now I'm taking a teaspoon of white. Okay. And I'm mixing in a teaspoon of white to that mixture. And look what happens. I get 
a blue that is one hue lighter than the one that I just used. Okay, so it's one hue lighter. Oh, those bagpipes, they get me every time, I'm telling you. Okay, one hue lighter, I'm using this color. There we go, I'm gonna take my big beluga. Beluga. Who's your beluga? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm coming out this way. Okay, I'm gonna start right about here and I'm gonna bring that lighter color towards the wall, away from my person. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you guys can hear my music right now. I'd be like, <laughs> thank God I'm in the zone. I can't, I don't let it get to me. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Boom, chaka, laka. Okay, and the reason is, is you guys didn't realize this, but, or maybe you did, in this painting, the sky steps down about three times. Okay, it steps down about three times. So there we go, babies. Coming up on the top, giving her a little of that action. Now look, when we're all done, we've got that dark blue in the corner and then we've got a blue that's one hue lighter right next door look at that Ooh, it's getting pretty all right now what i'm gonna do next same process okay guys same process Whoop, we're gonna put that little sucker down. I am going to take the mixture that I already made. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of white. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. There's the green that I made. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of white. I'm going to mix it together with my big beluga. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, I love this song. Okay. Now, did I tell you guys that you need two paper plates for this one? Because if I didn't, I meant to. All right, here we go. Now look what happens. There we go. One hue liner. Michelle Jean, Karen, hi, honey, how are you? Whoops. I'm going up. Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm painting my computer here. There we go. Well, oh, there we go. I found myself again. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my beluga. And for the last section of this painting, Okay, I'm taking this beautiful light mixture I made, and look at that, working it in, babies, working it in. And when I say working it in, what I mean is I'm gently kissing this canvas with my brush, with my big beluga. Look at that. My beluga's like, oh, baby, baby, give me that canvas. Let's swim. Okay, look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my soul. Look at that. Anybody can do this. Look at that. Okay, now let's look. We've got our lightest part of our sky. We're working into the medium part of our sky, and then we got a dark part of our sky. All right, and now I'm going to take this. I'm gonna paint around the sides because the painting is never finished till we paint on top our sides and our bottom. However, we never paint our bottom first. You know why? Because you get a sticky bottom and nobody wants that. Except for me. Occasionally I like a sticky bottom. 
us tell you, if I'm being honest, okay? Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, you guys are going to take your big beluga. You're going to put it in the bath water, give him a bath. He needs to swim a little. He needs to go back in the ocean. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> Poor beluga's been on land too long. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pretend like I'm taking the beluga out of the water. This is another brush. I'm just I'm just quick like that. Okay, I got a brush and I'm gonna dry it off really good on my paper towel. Okay. I'm gonna give her a little fluff. Little fluff another just to make sure she's all dry. Look at that. And then watch this. I'm just going to go over and dry brush those transition lines. Now, what transition lines are is where one color meets the other. And if we don't dry brush these transition lines, let me tell you what happens. Then it's going to look like it's like a, you know. So here we go. Brush these little guys in a little bit. Well, we don't want too much of blue in there. Oh, got a little paint on there. Okay, just dry brush these transition lines. Look at that. Oh, baby. Now, if you want to add some more of that blue, that dark blue, bring her in right there. Early in the morning. All right, there we go. Okay, there's a beautiful sky. Oh, my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, now. What I'm going to have you guys do, looks as though, hey, Jen, can you grab my uh, hair brush, the hair dryer? Jen? All right. So what you guys are going to do next is you're going to grab your trusty, dusty hair dryer. Now, if you don't have a trusty, dusty hair dryer, you're going to do, she posts them to YouTube. Yes, I do, Jen Karaka. That's right, baby. So, if you don't have a trusty, dusty hair dryer, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to give her the flat doodle, just like I'm doing. Because the goal is to dry off your painting before we move further. It's pretty much. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here comes the windstorm. Woo! Here we go. Oh! <laughs> okay, I've learned to love the hair dryer. I used to be the flap doodle queen because I was always working the flying squirrels. But oh, oh, this hair dryer, she's a nice one. Okay, there we go. Five minutes and stuff. Keep forking up. Okay, and what you'll see is a beautiful sky that transitions from dark to light. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I want to go live there. All right, now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is we're going to do the same process, okay? La, 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 la. We've got this beautiful blue, this bluish green that we have right here. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add another teaspoon of white, okay? A little bit more white than we've added so far. Mix it together, and you are going to get a pale, lightish blue, okay? A very pale, lightish blue. Oh, here we go. Let's mix that up. All right. Now, I'm making a big old mess over here. I hope you guys are making a mess at home. Because you know what? I always tell my kids, you're never an artist till you got paint on your hands. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Okay. Now, when you guys are all finished, okay, you should be going around this little plate like a little pie. When you're all finished you should end up with a beautiful, really pale teal blue. Let me show you the color. 
Okay, can we see this right here? Ooh, look, it's just so pretty. Okay, isn't that nice? Oh my goodness, I want to eat it like a, like a cream cheese. Film it. All right. Not really, because it doesn't taste that good. I'm trying to. All right. So what we're going to do next is everybody is going to take their big beluga, right? We're loaded her up with everything that we have and everything that we are. You guys are going to start down here. And there we go. We're moving it up. We're moving it up. We're moving it down. We're moving it down. Okay, this is our beautiful white snow mound. Okay, you like but Nicole, it's a little too blue. You're right, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more white to it. Now, is there such thing as being too blue? Heck no. It's really about preference, okay? So you guys, it's about what you prefer, okay? So I add a little bit more white, and look at this. Beautiful. You're going to take your brush, and you are going to paint in a gorgeous, snowy seascape. Look at that. Boom. Boom. That's right. Okay? Now, don't paint that all in, in a straight line. Get in there. Give it the little wookie dookies, all right? Little wookie dookie, which means flap that brush like nobody's business. Turn it back and forth. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Ooh, baby, baby. Who's your mama? That's right, I'm your mama tonight. Look at that. What makes teal, says Catherine Benjamin. Okay. So teal basically, hun, is a mixture of dark blue, your favorite green, okay? I don't go with all these paleo blue, blah, 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 blah. Because you know what? That restricts you, okay? I use primary colors. You take those primary colors, mix them together, and basically you're going to get your version of it. And I always say keep mixing until you find what you love. All right, I don't want yours to look like mine. You know, this is my thing, okay? I want everybody, this is about you being an artist. This is about you finding your freaky spot. This is about you jumping off the woods and finding out who you are inside, okay? Art is what makes your heart happy. There are absolutely no rights and no wrongs, okay, sweetie? So what makes teal is your green, your blue, and then you mix more blue than green. Add a little bit of green to that. And then, sweetie, hey, Sharon Viola Morton. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add just a tiny bit of black, and then you add as much white until you absolutely love what you see. Okay, sweetie? And there you go, Catherine Benjamin. That's what makes teal, honey. That what's that is what's gonna make the teal for this painting. Okay. Now, what we've done is we've added in our snow. I'm gonna wash off my baluga. Okay. And then I'm gonna dry off the snow paint. that lighter mixture because I want to come in just bring it around the side okay. all right there we go look 
Look at that. Make sure we get the signs. That way when you guys go to hanging out, you're not looking at a funky monkey sign, are ya? Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Now, what I'm gonna have you guys do last for the sky, you're gonna grab a tiny bit of that lightest color that you just mixed up, and let's just bring it into this side. Let's wisp it in a little. Look at that, just wisp it in. Just to make that sky interesting. Okay? There you go. All right. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. All right. Now, what I am going to have you little whippersnappers do next. Okay? All right. Remind me later. What I'm going to have you little whippersnappers do next. Well, let's turn that off. So, oh, there we go. Good. I, won't, I didn't lose you. Bison is bigger than a moose. All right, Shelly Mac. You are right. I didn't really. What's a bison up there? That's so cool. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is everybody's going to grab their little detail brush. Okay, and nobody, if you guys haven't painted with me before, this is them. All right, we use three brushes, a big brush, a medium brush, and we use this little tip mouse. But tonight, we are going to call this little tip mouse, your little detail brush, we'll call it the bison. Why? Because the bison is bigger than woods. All right, so tonight... <laughs> We gonna call this little tip mouse your bison. All right, bison. We have that bison because I have bison burgers. They're wicked healthy for you. All right, all right, girl. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do with this? Okay, this is where we start to get into the meat of this painting. I am gonna have you take a little bit of this mixture. Grab a little bit of your darker mixture. Mix that in there. Okay. So you get a color that kind of looks like this. Okay. All right. Here we go. Looks like this. Just see that little, this little pile right here. Just a little bit darker than your snow color. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we are going to carve out each one of those trees, okay? So, while I have you here, while you're all excited, here we go. I've got this little thing, okay? And I'm gonna start my first tree right down here. All right, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go just a little angle like that. And then, boom, chakalaka. A little Kool-Aid smile. Okay? That's it. That's the base of our first tree. Okay? Easy peasy Japanese. Now I'm going to take that same color because before I paint any of these trees in, I'm going to carve them out first. I want you to see them all on your page before we even think about painting them in. Okay? So here we go. So I'm going to take a line and I'm going to go from there to there. Alright? And this is just the underpainting. So don't worry about what it looks like. All right, from there to there. And then we're going to go up. All right, we're going to come down just a little bit. And we're going to meet it on the other side like this. OK? 
Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so there we go. So basically, the only one that is on the diagonal is that middle line, okay? Can you guys see that? There you go, baby. There's number two. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come in. Same thing. I'm going to go roll right a little bit beyond this tree. Okay? And I'm going to go a little bit beyond this tree. Like this. Okay, a little bell. And then I'm going to go like this. Okay? There we go. All right, just like that, babies. And then, same thing, I'm going to go well beyond the sides of each tree, just like that. We're going to get smaller on this guy. He's going to come up. Boom, look at him. All right. Slant a bit and come down. So each one comes out, slants a bit on the top, and then slants a bit on the bottom. You can do this. Okay, I'm going to bring this one down a little bit more because it looks a little funky. I don't want a funky tree. Nobody wants a funky tree. There we go, you guys. Who do you love? Who do you love? That's right. There we go. Okay. There's that. And then we're going to add the top, babies. Boom. I'm, at, I'm widening up the bottom a little bit. And then watch this. Little slant, come up to a point, and there you go. Okay, and there you go. Look at that. Here's number one tree. Okay, just like that. And what I'm going to have you guys do, now that you all have it drawn out, all right, or maybe some of you don't, that's all right, I'm going to have you just even those up and make sure that everything's working the way it's supposed to. Okay, you want that tree to go straight up and down. You don't want it slanting to the left. There we go. Okay. See that? There we go. There's number one tree. Beautiful. Okay. Now, once that tree's done, we are on to number two tree. And that is your main tree right there. There's your main vein. Okay? So what we're going to do next is... We're going to start another tree, but this tree is going to come out here, okay? So we're going to slant that line down and then over and there we go. Let me grab this. Okay, there. There's the beginning of tree number two. He's poking out behind his friend. He's saying, hey, friend, what you doing? I'm your tree friend. You want to be my buddy? 
Okay, look at that. There's the beginning of number two. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now, did you guys have a great Christmas or what? I know I did. I had a fabulous Christmas with my family. I actually cooked for my family, which is like a yearly tradition. I don't cook all year round, but I cooked. I cooked. Uh, we went to the Mediterranean in my world. With my Mediterranean cooking, <laughs> I learned about cayenne pepper. Go oh, very light on the cayenne pepper. Oh, <laughs> it helps you get tinga stinga. <laughs> And so do your guests. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. Okay, here we go. Here's number two of this tree. We're going to go up, down, and just like this. Okay, there's number two. Second section right there, babies. Okay, and I often find with these trees, for some reason, I tend to lean them to the left. Okay, but there's number two. Okay, and then number three, we'll go here, up, over, over. There we go. Okay, there's number three. And there we go. We're going to give him a little dingle talk. Okay, we're going to go beyond this. Go like this. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful dingle top on top of that tree. Oh, I feel like I'm in Killerney. Okay, just like this. All right, now, right now, your trees will look like absolute heck. All right, and that is okay. That is what we're going for. As I tell my people, okay? In the middle, she looks like crap. If it looks like crap,
color that we use to do this, okay? And here we go, watch this. We're gonna come in and we're gonna paint in the whole foundation of our first tree. Okay, and there's number one. Boom chakalaka. Okay. Here we go. Here's the foundation of our first tree. Boom. Look at that. Matches the sky, baby. See that? Excellent. Okay, now we're going to grab that color again. We're going to paint in the second thing of our first of our first tree, the second little section. Okay, the whole thing is going to be that dark, funky monkey color. Look at that. Okay. There we go. And just make sure you realize where does one section of my tree end and the next one begin. That's why I had you draw them in sections first. Okay, there's number two. Okay, now here we go. Funky monkey color, paint in number three. Funky monkey color. Okay, and this is like kind of a mix between This is your middle sky color, okay? That's why we pushed it across around the page. So every time we kept a little bit of each color. There we go, there's this color. Boom, look at that. Same color every time for each section, okay? And again, middle sky color, look at that. In the dark sky, gorgeous. All right, looks like a little nipple on top. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, see that? There we go. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do, wash off your moves. All right? Wash off Mr. Moose it. And let's go back to our little bison. There we go. Here's my little bison. Now, do you remember in the beginning where I told you, keep the original color that you made before you added white? You had a quarter of that color left. Well, what I'm going to have you do is take your bison, okay? Dip it in that quarter color there, the darkest blue that you have. All right? And we're going to take that dark blue and we're going to work it into this side of the tree, okay? And basically, all you're doing is you're sweeping her down. Sweeping her down on this side of the tree. Look at that. Okay, see that? There you go. Now, you're going to take that darkest blue. You're going to sweep it down in here. Okay, same thing on this section of the tree. All right, and one thing we don't want to do is line those suckers up. All right, so make sure they're not lined up. There you go. We're sweeping it in there. See that? Yes. Now we'll take that dark color. We're going to sweep it in here. The, uh, this side of this tree. Look at that. Woo, baby. We're sweeping it. We're sweeping it like we did the floor. Okay, look at that. Boom, chugga-lugga. Oh, she's not even. No, she's not. That's good. Okay, we're going to go up. We're going to sweep it in this side of the tree. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, there's that. Ooh, we're blending it. Look at that. Woo! 
Look at that. Nice. And then we're going to go on the top, and we're going to outline the side, and we're going to sweep it down to that side of the tree. Okay, can you guys see that? Now, what you do next is you come down and you outline that whole part of the tree with that dark color. See that? The whole part of the tree. So here we go. Here you go. Whoop. Whoop. And there you go, guys. Get that whole part of the tree with that deep color. Boom. Okay. Look at that. Oh, she's looking good, boys. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with this section. Make sure. You get the whole outline of that thing, okay? Whole outline of that tree. Boom, with your dark color. All right. There. Okay, now we're done with the dark color, just like that. Okay, see that? Now... What we're going to do, we're going to wash off our little bison. We're going to give that bison a bath. Okay, and what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take that light blue that you made. See that lightest blue? All right, see this one? And what we're going to do here is we're going to work it into this side of the tree. Look at that. Boom. Just like that. Work it into this side of the tree. Get it. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Gonna go all the way up. Work it in here. I'm gonna grab my medium brush because this is driving me crazy using the little one. So I'm gonna grab my little, my little moose. Okay, here we go. Why do you watch this? We're going to work that into this side. Look at that. Okay, work it into this side. Okay. Take it, we're going to work it into this side. This side of the tree. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Okay. We're working it into this side. Again, we're working it into this side. Okay. And then we're going to work it right in here. All right. Okay, wow, now look at that. We've got the basic colors that we need. Now, I'm gonna have you guys take the original color that you did the tree with, okay? You work it on this edge, okay? Sweep it down on this edge and sweep it down on that edge and boom, look at that. Now we're blending. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Take that original color that you started with, this color right here. You're going to work it in the center. You're going to work it over that transition line. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And we're going to take the color, work it over that transition line, bring it into the dark section. And there you go, babies. Oh, that tree, she's starting to look pretty good now, isn't she, boys? Okay. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, I take that color, 
that I use to start this, all right? I bring it into the light section, bring it into my dark section, work it through that transition line. There we go. Look, ooh, baby. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. Boom! Look at that tree! Poof! It's like a magic tree, isn't it? You said it was stove up. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, take that original color. Here we go. Start in the middle. Work it in through here. Work it over there. In the dark and in the light. Oh, baby, baby. There we go. Look at that. Oh, she's terrific now. She's terrific now. <laughs> I do love it when it comes together. Okay, now I'm going to take this color, working in a little bit on the tip top. Okay, and there you go. Look at that. There's your first tree. All right, but we're not done yet, okay? Watching you paint while I'm drying my hair. Look, hi, Betty Cameron, how you do? That's right, girl. Not quite sure where your hair's wet, baby, but. <laughs> okay, now once you guys are all done with that, with, okay, we brought that color in, we worked it in here. I'm going to have you grab your little tip mouse, your big bison, okay? Your tiny, whiny detail. You're going to come in on this side with just white. Okay? See that? Can you see that? Just white. And you're going to outline the outer edge of that tree. Look at this. Okay, we're just sweeping in. And we're just outlining the outer edge. Look at that, happy little tree, happy little tree. Grab a little white on the tip mouse. Okay, we're working it into that edge. There we go, a little white on the edge. Nice. Okay, grab my little tip mouse, working that white in on the edge. Oh baby, oh baby. Okay, there's that, and we'll grab a little bit here, work the white in just on the outer edge. All right, there we go, look at that, okay? So now we have that white highlight on the side, and the next thing I'm going to have you guys do is a little weird, but that's okay, so am I. All right, you guys are going to grab a little green. All right, straight up green. I got to take the little edge off here. 100 miles and I would walk 500 more. All right, what are you doing, you little bugger? Got a clog in my frog here. Okay, so you're going to take some straight up green. All right, just a little bit, not even a teaspoon. All right, not even half a teaspoon, just a tiny little bit of green. Okay, and what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna take that little bison, you're gonna wipe off this brush, just like this, grab a little white, tiny bit of green and you're going to tap them together okay you're making a very light green okay on that brush all right so white and a little green i'm tapping them both together and watch this this is where you're going to take this and you're basically going to do little pokey pokey you're going to turn this little bison into a pecker Okay, see this? And you're going to peck all the way across the line of that tree. Look at that. Oh, 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 this is a pecker tree. See that? There you go, everybody. 
Little bit of white, little bit of green. Here we go. Hecka pecka, hecka pecka. Woo, there's a pecking. Five ladies pecking. Okay, just like that. Yeah, look at that. See that? Okay. Here we go. We're going to peck across this line. Looky, looky, looky. There we go. We're going to peck across one side. Woo, woo, woo. And then the other. Okay. Peck across that line. And finally, you guys are going to peck across this line. There you go. And look at that. We have our first tree, you guys. Damn, that looks good, doesn't that? Oh, I tell you what, it's happy little tree, happy little tree. While I'm dying my hair love. Oh, you crazy. Okay, now, you guys, what we are going to do, you guys have just worked very hard in a short period of time, okay? This one's, it's a little more involved than some of the other ones I've done. That's okay, though, because I know you guys have this. All right? It's a new year. You're sprouting a new leaf. I'm so proud of you. Okay? You've got this. So, what we're going to do, we are going to take a five-minute halftime. Okay? Ooh, I just spit on my computer. All right. We're going to take a five-minute halftime. I will see you guys in five. Make your bladder glider. Stand up. Stretch your bones. Ooh. Grab a Scooby snack. Go grab somebody's buns if they let you. Okay? And I'll see you in five minutes. Woo!
snippet snappers, it's time for my halftime speech. Yes, sir. Ready? Okay. So, you guys that are joining me for the first time from Canada all over the place, thank you so much again, Joanne Murphy. Oh, darn, I forgot to set up my painting space. I'll try to do this tomorrow. Watch your video. Love this so far. It's good. What? <laughs> That's what I like to hear, baby. You just tune in. I love it. Okay, you guys. So this one is, it's a little bit more involved than the ones that we've done. But like I said, New Year's coming. I know you guys can do this. I'm so proud of you. Hey, Peg Bauer. Mwah. I love you, honey. I hope you're doing good. I think about you all the time, baby. God, I love you. Okay. So, um... One thing I'd like to tell everybody at halftime, one thing that make, brings my heart so much joy. I started doing these free shows during the COVID crisis, COVID-19, we're all in quarantine, and I can't see you. And for anybody that knows me, I'm a people person, believe it or not. <laughs> and I love my people in person. So um, if you could, you guys, send me a picture of your picture, okay? Uh, my company is Artful Nights Maine. Let me get your visual. Messenger. You can also email me at artfulnightsmain at gmail.com. I take everybody's pictures. I did run. <laughs> I take everybody's pictures and um, and I um, write you a little note. I post them on my Facebook page and it just brings me joy being home alone. All right, being home and not being able to see your beautiful faces. Um, what else? Oh, next week we are doing, what are we doing? I don't know. Nip a check. Oh, oh, nip a check. Oh, oh. Okay, I do these things every Sunday. They stay on my Facebook page for one week. And then, um, within that week, I, oh, are we doing the bear next week? Oh, we are. Look at that, you guys. That's what I'm talking about, Alaska. We are doing the black bear next week. Okay, look at that black bear sitting next to his birch tree in the snowy wind. Woo, that's going to be fun. Yeah, little grizzly. Okay, so that's going to be next week. Um, For those of you guys that know me and know me so well, I did lose my pet yesterday, so my heart's a little blue tonight, um, but um, my kitty of 15 years, we got him when he was four, and, and we lost him the day after Christmas, so I'm not going to go there, uh, but I usually have a little bit more energy than I have tonight, so, you know, it's a good thing. All right, you guys, so let's do it. Let's get this one painted for you. Okay, and again, thank you for joining me. I love it. Canada, Michigan, all over. Oh, my gosh, you guys, let me tell you what. You're in for a treat, okay? Next Sunday, Black Bear, every Sunday, 7 o'clock, Facebook Live. They stay on my page. I got a YouTube channel with a bunch of tutorials. Y'all good. Just Artful Nights Maine with artist Nicole White, okay? White like the color. Go figure. All right, here we go. Let's get back at it. Okay. So, 
Here we go. So you guys have worked hard. You've got that first tree done. Now that we've got the process down, the other one should be easy for you guys. No worries. Actually, the other two trees are easier. All right. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to have you guys grab your medium brush, okay? We're going to take that color that we just used for the first tree, which is this color right here, okay? Same color, you guys, that I used for the middle of my sky. There it is, okay? Now, what I'm going to do with this color is I put it right off in the middle and... See this? That'll be enough to do my tree. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of green to it. No, I'm not. Just kidding. That green's being tricky on me. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of green to it. Just like that. All right, you little tricky bugger. There's more than one way to fillet a fish. <laughs> ha! Ha! There's more than one way to fillet a fish, Canada. Here we go. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to add green to it just to give that tree a different hue. Okay? So now we've got the blue hue, but we also have added just a tad of green to it. Okay? All right. Never have we mixed so many colors for one painting. It's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to start off, we're going to paint the bottom of this tree just like this. Um, okay, here we go. Boom, bada, boom, bada. There we go. Look at that. With that, gr with this, that color that we just made, okay? The whole thing is green, baby. There we go. Bring it all the way downtown. Okay? And there we go. Now what we're, we're going to do is we're going to use that same green. We're going to come in. We're going to paint the next section. Okay? Just like this. Come on in. We're going to paint the next section. Okay? Just like that. There we go. There. How's that? Boom, chocolate. She's nice and greeny. Greeny, greeny like a greeny machine. Okay, next section, same thing. There we go. Painting that section like a green machine. Hey, look at that. Okay, and finally, we're going to take this and we're going to come in. We're going to do the tippy top, the old tree nipple right there. All right. Now she's done, boys. Okay. Beautiful. She looks mighty green. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to have you guys do, wash off that boots. Give us a little. Give that moose the bath that he deserves. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is... We're going to add a little white to that green mixture we just made. Just about half of it. Okay, grab a little white. Add that in to half of that green mixture that you just made. Okay. And then you're going to come in on this side of the tree. All right, there we go. And you're just going to sweep that green in this side of the tree. Okay? See that? Boom. Okay? Each section you're going to do the same thing. 
just like this. Sweep her in. There we go. Look at that. Woo! Goodness, she's getting pretty. Okay. All right. Add a little white there. There we go. Okay. See that? Oh, I see it, Nicole. I see what's. I see what you're throwing down. We'll add a little bit in this section too. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is in that green that I didn't add white to, I'm gonna take that original dark color that we made. See this little bugger right here? Remember the quarter that I told you from the beginning? This one? We're gonna add that to that green mixture, darken it up a little bit. See that? Just give it a little something, something. There we go. So it's my green mixture with a little bit of the dark mixture. Okay. Grab my mousse. And here we go. We're going to come in. We're going to work in that. A little bit of that in there. A little bit of that in there on the outer edge. A little bit of that in there on the outer edge. And then a little bit of there on the outer edge. So same thing we did before. See that? So we've got dark, uh, dark green in the middle, light on one side. Okay? Now, I'm going to wash off my mousse just like this. And I'm going to grab... A little bit of that green I used in the beginning. Okay, in the middle section, I'm going to work it into both sides. Look at that. A little there. And a little there. Look at that. Blending it all together. See that? That is a beautiful way to blend something. Grab that original green. Work it in here on this side. And then come around into the dark side. Into the dark side. <laughs> That's what the emperor said, the dark side. Okay, there we go. Can you see what's happening here? So I've got the dark green. Okay, let me show you. I've got the dark green. I've got the light green. And then the middle is the original green that I used. Okay? So I'm taking that original green. I'm working it in so that it goes into this side, comes down in the middle, and then I'm blending it through on the other side. Look at that, babies. Nice. See that? And that is what brings that tree together. That is what makes your heart happy, right? Good Lord, me tree looks good. There you go. There you go. Blender all together. Beautiful. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, you're going to grab your bison. Yeah, skinny little bison. Okay. And we're going to do the same process that we did on the first tree. We take a little bit of white onto our bison. We go in and we add white to this side of the tree. See that? Ooh, there we go. Just a little bit of white. We work a little bit of white into the outer edge of that tree. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. Grab a little white, working into the outer edge of that tree. Okay, you guys, and what you're going to do for me is you're going to share these free shows with your friends so that they have something to do during COVID. 
get them into the art world. And have your friends over, right? It's party time. It is party time. At my biggest, I love getting the pictures of the families that are all together doing these paint nights. Oh my God, you guys turn my crank with those. It's my favorite. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit here. And that's about it because I can't go any further. Okay. And the last thing that I am going to do to this awesome tree, again, I'm going to take a little bit of white on my brush, tap in a little green, so white with green. And here we go. Watch this. Tap, tap, tap. All in between -y on these lines. So basically what you're doing is you guys are turning your little bison into a woodpecker. What does a woodpecker do? I would say a pecker, but we're not going to be nodding. Okay, little pecker. Right? <laughs> you can peck the iris music. Okay? So you take that brush. That's the motion. And you're going to put a little white on the tip. And here comes my pecker. Pecker, 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 pecker. Look at that. This is like a little woodpecker head. Yes. All the way across. Okay, all the way across that middle line. Beautiful, you guys. All right, here we go. Pecker, 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 pecker. Look at that. Yeah, and the idea is that each one of these, oh, that's all we're going to pick, is that each one of these trees is a little bit different, okay? I'm going to use that dark blue, clean up that little peck of tree. There we go. Maybe I'll take a little bit of that dark blue, clean up this peck of tree. There we go. There, yeah. okay? So that's the idea, is that each tree is a little different in our forest. Okay, so there's number two. Number two little peck of trees. Gosh, these look good. Okay, now for the third tree, for that little ugly mongrel, what we're going to do is I am going to have you take straight up green. Okay, just your straight up green. All right, so here it is. Here's my straight up green. I'm going to put a little dollop in that. I wish I had my polka. Eee, where's my polka? Hold up. When all else fails, use a fork and don't tell your family. <laughs> Dishwasher, it's all good. Okay, so here we go. We're taking our straight up green. We are adding white to half of the screen. Okay. We're grabbing a moose. Here you go, Mr. Moose. All right, half of that green's gonna get a little white, so it looks a little minty, like a minty fresh breath. Oh, it's just so minty. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, grab the moose. Here we go. Whole tree gets that nice little minty green. Yeah, maybe a little more white. Here we go. A little, little bit more white. There we go. Lighten your wrap. Lighten your wrap. There we go. Okay, so the whole tree. Gets this light green. Okay, I do, why did I stop there? I have no idea. Just did. So we're going to bring it down just far enough where we can still see that white. So there's number one, minty green. Okay, going to get in this section, the little nipple of that tree. If you guys feel more comfortable using your little bison, you go for it, okay? It's your world, all right? 
Here's number two. Okay. And again, we're painting this whole midsection, that beautiful minty light green, which is just green and white. Okay. Look at that. Boom. Number three. And number four tree. Whoops, not number four. Four section. Okay, the four section of that tree. Boom, chakalaka. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, there's my four section. So what I've done is I painted that whole tree with minty green, which is green and white. Green and white fight fight, okay? I seriously have the worst brushes ever. Oh, her name is Celia Mack. Okay, so Celia Mack, what I want you to do, sweetie, is, or Shelly Mack, I think your name is. Don't mind me, my eyes are bad, and I'm horrible with names. What I want you to do, honey, is I want you to send me a message, okay? And I'm going to help you buy better brushes. So send me a message on my page, Shelly. I think it's Shelly. Shelly. And I will help you, honey. I'm going to help you get good brushes. Okay, so you message me and say, hey, Nicole, I was at your show. I was at your Facebook Live show. It's Shelly Mac Mac from Canada, and I will help you get, get better brushes. Okay, baby? All right, so now we're going to grab our little bison, and I'm going to have you guys dip it in the full-on green. Okay, so what we're dipping it in is full green. And what you're going to do is you're going to come in this side. You're going to outline the side with it. We'll keep this simple. We'll get you going in one fell swoop. Okay, see that? Again, same thing on this section, one fell swoop. Work a little green in there. Make sure that you're super careful. You don't cover that tree because this one's behind. Okay. There we go. Work a little green in there. All right. There we go. How's that? Ooh, yes, sir. We got that one. Yeah, we're going to use a little straight up green in here. Trying to work that in there. Okay. There we go. A little bit in that section. Not much because we don't have much to work with. It's behind the other tree. All right, great. Now, what I am going to have you guys do next is you're going to take some white and here we go. Load up that brush with white. We're going to come in on this side. Work a little white in there. Look at that, white into that green. If it's too white for you, grab a little green. Okay, there you go, there's that, working that white in, boom, 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 see that, okay, working that white in, boom, 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 chuck a luck a luck a boom, 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 chuck a luck a boom, boom, you guys remember that song, open the door, step on the floor, everybody do me the dinosaur, that's what comes in my head. <laughs> That's what comes in my head on a regular basis. All right. There's that. And last section right down here. Beautiful. We're going to add a little white in there. Okay. Now you know the drill. Okay. We've got three sections of that tree. Look at that. See how that's one, two, three? Can't have that. So what are you guys going to do? Come in, take that original minty green that you use for the middle, and you're going to work it into both sides. Work it over here and work it into the, the other green. Look at that. There we go. Now look, top section of my tree. Blended like a madman. See that? Beautiful. Okay, grab that minty green. 
on your little brush. Work it into both sides. Yeah. Look at that. See that? Second section blended like a madman. Or mad woman, whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay, there we go. Work it in. How is that? Look at that third section of the tree. Gorgeous, you guys. Same thing. We're going to take that minty green, work it into the last section on both sides. Look at that. Boom, boom. Chuck a luck a luck a boom. Just like that. And look, we have a beautiful blended tree. Woo! Look at those three trees. I want to go in that forest, okay? I'm going to wash off my little bison. Grab a little bit of white on the end of it. Okay, just straight up white. Going to do the outside outer edge with just white. Work in a little white on the outer edge. Clean up that outer edge. There we go. Oh, thank you, Heat, for going off. Didn't know if I could talk. I could talk over you, you know, because I'm just, you know, I'm just a little shy tip mouse. <laughs> Not really. All right. Last section. A little white around the outer edge, just like that. That's going to make that tree pop like sunshine. Now I'm going to turn my little bison into a woodpecker. Little pecker, here we go. Peck, 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 peck. White on the mids, on all the lines. Look at that. There's one. There's two. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, boom. Okay. And here's three. Oh, you guys, we're going to hit the two-hour mark tonight, babies. That's all right. You worth it. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's tree number three. Now we're going to get the little guy. And what we're going to do with the little guy is the same thing we do with the last one. We're going to use the same colors. Okay. So I'm going to have you start off with that minty green. There we go. Look at that little guy. Oh, he's so cute off in the background. Okay, there's number one. Okay, we're going to paint in his second section. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Okay, there's number two. See that? Number two. And then we're going to paint the third section in. With that green. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Okay, there's number three. Okay, look at that. One, two, three. Just like that, babies. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my straight up green. Going to go on the outer edge, just like I did, like I have been doing. Whoop. Zoop. One, two, a little bit down there. Whoop, lost that little edge. Give me a little more, more green. There we go. A little edgy over there. Boom. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Just like that. Now. Got to take a little white on my brush, mix it with that light green, get a very pale green. Ooh, 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 mix it with that minty green. Okay. Going to do this side of the tree like this. One. Okay. Every tree is important. So don't, even though he's in the background, he don't forget him. Got to make him cute. All right. I know I'm working you hard tonight, but you'll thank me. Okay, there's two. And here's three. There we go. 
Yeah, so we've got light, medium, and dark. And what do we do? Grab that minty green, bring it in the middle. And we work it in, both sides. Blending those two colors together. Okay. There we go, blending those two colors together. And now I'm gonna grab my brush. Wipe it off, grab a little white on my tip. Okay, I'm gonna do the outside of this tree, the outer edge, just like this. Yes, okay, outline the outer edge. And then I pack in those white lines in the middle, woodpecker time. Peck, 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 each section of that tree. Peck, 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 peck. And a peck, peck, peck. There we go. Look at that. Look at that cute little doo doo on the edge of the forest. Gosh, he's coming. All right, you guys. Excellent. Now your forest is complete. And I am hoping that you are absolutely loving it. You won't go tiptoeing in that forest. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is everybody, now what we're going to do is how this works, okay, we're going to bring in the shadows on these trees, okay, so the closer you are, okay, like the fox is the closest, so that has the darkest shadow. This guy has a nice dark shadow, right? Because he's the closest tree. Now this tree, as we go a little further, the shadow's lighter. And then this little guy in the back, he's the furthest, so he's got the lightest shadow. Okay, and this one's hidden behind his little friend, so he has no shadow. All right? So that's how the shadowing works on this particular painting. So... What I'm going to have you do is the same color that we used for this section. Can you see this color right here? That dark color. So it was basically that green that we added a little white to. Okay, that's the one. What I'm going to have you do, take your mousse. You're going to go underneath this tree, 95. 5% of the way. Okay, here you go. Right underneath that tree. Just like that. Okay, you're going to leave a little bit on the corner. And you're just going to bring in the shadow, baby. And the shadow is going to go like, let me show you, just like this. So the light source, okay, is right behind. There we go. There we go. Okay, that is the shadow on this tree. So what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay, we've outlined the shadow. We know what color we're using, okay. Grab your big old beluga. Grab that color. And if you need to loosen it up a little, it's okay to grab a little bit of paint water because these are acrylic paints. So they're water-based paints. Don't add too much. Oh my goodness, you do not want the dripsies. Okay, you just add a couple of drops. You can loosen that up. Okay, loosen up that color, and here we go. We're going to bring in that shadow, baby. Okay, work in that shadow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, yes, sir. Okay, oh, my gosh, let me tell you what. Just like butter. There we go. 
Okay, make sure that shadow isn't all wanky. There we go. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Shadow number one. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, for that second shadow, we are going to grab a little medium brush. Hi, Nicole. Just got home. We'll have to do another night. That's all right, Nancy Hogue. How you doing? I figured we'd be low this time because it's right after the holidays, honey girl. I hope you had so much fun. Okay? This one is a little involved, but you guys, hey, love. I'm going to miss you Thursday, Melissa. Well, you don't know if you're going to miss me. We'll have to wait and see, birthday girl. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. All right, now, what we're going to do next, that same color, okay? Just add a little white to it. Make your life easier. Add a little white to it. Add some of that lighter color on it. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to carve out the shadow for this tree. Okay, now this tree is a little different than the one I did originally. I'm going to add a little more white there. So add a little white to that color. Okay, because as I said, as that shadow gets closer, it gets a little lighter. Okay, so carve out that shadow. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. Whoops. There we go. Boom. Shadow number two. There is you. See that shadow? She's coming right off my last tree. And again, this is a little different than I did before. But that's what I love. I love to do all my paintings a little different. And that way, when you guys get to create on, you're going to do yours different. Okay, there's that. And the last thing I'm going to do, same color. Okay, we're going to come underneath this little tree over here. Hold on. I'm going to grab my little brush. Here's my little brush. Oh, look at that. I'm getting all confused. I'm going to grab my little brush. Same color. We're going to go underneath this tree. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Now I'm outlining the shadow for that little tree. Okay. And we're just going to bring in that, that blue color. This is the lightest shadow color. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's your last shadow. So here we go. We've got our forest done. We've got our shadowing done. Now, what is this painting missing? What? It's missing a fox. The most important part of the painting. All right, here we go. I'm going to keep this box easy for you guys. You guys have been working like, working hard. Okay? So what we're going to do next, everybody grabs their second plate. Because that one is covered in blue. Okay? Now what you guys are going to do, super easy. You're going to put a tablespoon, I mean a teaspoon of red. Not even a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of red. Half a teaspoon of red. Half a teaspoon of orange. What? Yep. Half a teaspoon of orange. Okay. There we go. Let's look at this. Half a teaspoon of red. Half a teaspoon of orange. Now, what I'm going to do is little drop of brown in my orange little drop of brown in my red 
Okay, look at that. Now it's two eyeballs looking at you. Google it, Google it, Google it, Google it, Google it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, now one more thing. Black and black, just to draw. Black and black, okay? A little black on the side and a little white. There we go. Everything we need for a proper fox, right there. Take your medium brush. I want you to mix up your red and see if that red is a red that you love. Is that a foxy red? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so you gotta mix up your red, brown and black. And what you should have is a nice, deep, burgundy red for that fox, for the outer edge. Okay? Now, with a dirty brush, I'm going to mix my orange. That allows that red to mix in with my orange and my brown and my tiny bit of black. And now you should have a deep brownish orange. Okay? Let me show you. All right, here we go. We've got a deep brownish orange, and we've got the burgundy red, black, and white. Good! Who's ready to do fox? I am. All right. Now, I'm going to clean off that brush. Okay? And I am going to make a creamsicle, a creamsicle orange, okay? So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take white on my paint plate. I've got that big old thing of white. I'm going to take half of that. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the orange mixture, mix it in so that I have a nice, Cream sickle orange. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Here's my cream sickle orange, everybody. I know, it reminds me of summer. Okay, and we're going to use that cream sickle to do an entire underpainting of a fox. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys grab your little tip mouse. Okay, you're going to grab your little teeny weeny brush just like this. All right, that little detail brush, that big old bison. All right, my bison burger. Okay, and the first thing that I am going to have everybody do, you're going to take that creamsicle orange on your thing. Okay, and right on the edge here, we are going to draw what looks like the bottom of a bowling ball pin. You think I'm kidding? I know you do. Okay, what looks like the bottom of a bowling ball pin. It's basically a large oval. Okay, and I will show you what this oval looks like. What are you talking about, Nicole? I know, I know. Okay? There you go. Can you see that? There it is. There's your big oval. Just, it looks like a big, tall dinosaur egg. Okay, there's my oval. Just like that. It goes from the bottom to the top of the snow, baby. Not to the full bottom, but you see what I'm saying. Okay, so there's my egg. Now, what I'm going to do on the bottom of my egg, this is like acting funny. It's not catching the colors right. Okay, ready? On the bottom of my egg, I'm going to go just like this. Ooh, yes. See that? That is my foxy tail. Okay. There's that. We're going to start on the other side of the egg and look at that this. Okay? So just like this. 
And there is my foxy tail. Okay, there you go, guys. Check her out. Yeehaw. Foxy tail. Okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful little foxy tail. And again, all I'm doing is using my creamsicle orange. Okay? Now, last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my foxy's head. So I'm going to come up here. All right, I'll show you this when I'm all done. Okay. Here's my foxy head. All right. And here is his outer ear. Okay, so there we go. Foxy head and his outer ear. Okay, just like that. Here he is. And then, before you paint him in, you're going to add a second ear. And this ear is going to be his inner ear. Okay, so there's his second ear. Can you guys see that? Just like a little sly fox. Okay, his tail, his egg-shaped body, his head, and his ears. All in creamsicle orange. Okay? Beautiful. Now, what you guys are going to do next is you're going to grab that medium brush. Oh, going to grab that little moosey. Yes, you're going to grab that little moosey. Now, why are my brushes upside down? The world will have to know. Okay. Grab my moosey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that creamsicle and I'm going to paint in my entire fox. Paint them all in, everybody. All right. Now you should have a nice creamsicle peach fox. <laughs> You're like, what is going on, Nicole? That's all right. It always comes together. Okay, so I'm painting in my little peach fox. All right, now I'm going to paint his little peach head. Look at that. Oh, he's a little, he's a little mango fox. Paint in one ear, paint in the second ear. All right. Okay. There you go, you guys. Nice peach fox. Yeah, like Nicole, what the heck are you doing? That's all right. I love it. It's all going to come together, you silly wheelies. All right. Now, I'm going to take my brush. And what I wanted you guys to do, get this dry. So I'm going to use my hair dryer. Okay, here we go. Foxy's dry. You guys are going to grab that tip mouse. Right here. Okay, dry off your fonts. Okay, get a good tip mouse. Want one that works well. All right. 
Now watch the magic happen, okay? We've got the fox all painted out. He's all dry. He's all ready for us to go. We're going to start with our red, okay? Here's the red. Now, first thing I do is I put a line right up his nose just like this. Okay, just like that, there's my, my nose line, okay, and I'm going to take that nose line and I'm going to continue that nose line around the arch of his back, okay, nice fluid line, see that, around the arch of his back. And now, I'm going to go all the way down his back. Let me see. Can you see this? All right. Hmm. All right. I want you guys to be able to see this as I'm painting it. So I'm going to bring it down all the way down, and I'm going to stop when I get to the tail. Okay? See that? Stop when I get to the tail. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come up. I'm going to put this line just like this. Okay. And then come around like this. Okay. And what I want you guys to do next, you're going to fill this in. Okay. There we go. That's with the dark red. All right. So we've gone halfway up the nose, down the body, and we stop when we get to that foxy tail. All right. Now, I'm going to take a little red. I'm going to outline the top of the nose. I'm going to go up to the first ear. Hold on, I'll show you what this looks like. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to paint this in with that dark red burgundy. Okay, there we go. Okay, see that? Now that's the first section of my fox. That's all the red, all the burgundy that's going to go on there, babies. Okay? I'm proud of you guys. This one's not easy. You're hanging in there and I love it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, you guys can't tell, I'm used to uh, having my paint water on the other side. I'm going to take a line of this burgundy, same burgundy, the red part. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right at his belly, and I'm going to bring that burgundy down in the bottom section of that tail. Okay? Just like that. Can you see that? And now I'm done with the burgundy. Wash off your little tip mouse. Okay. Now we're going to take that orange. Okay. We got our little orange. 
and we're going to start right here, right at his neck, trace down his body all the way down to the red. See that? Just like that. And we're going to go like this. And you guys are going to, see, just like that, and you're going to bring it around to the top of the tail. And you're going to follow the tail. What? Yep, you follow it, not all the way to the end, just to there. Okay? And now you're going to take that little orange and you're going to go a V, just like this. V for victory. Okay. Look at that. Looks like a little fish, doesn't it? <laughs> I like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to have you do is you're going to paint in this whole section orange. Just like this, working in that dark red at the bottom. Okay. There we go. And the reason you said, Nicole, why did I do a creamsicle first? Well, the reason is this. Just like when you're painting the house, if you, you, if you do an underpainting, what that allows the orange, because notoriously orange and reds are crap balls for, for uh, covering up the canvas. Sometimes they just don't quite give you the coverage you need. So when we do a nice little underpainting, it's like adding a little primer on there. And it helps you to shape it all out so you can see it. Okay, do you guys see that? Beautiful. Okay, that's the orange section of the of the um, box. Okay, now you're going to take that orange. You're going to go up here. You're going to do the second ear in orange, this guy right up here. Okay, just like that. See that second ear? Beautiful. We got a little ear in. Excellent. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is take a little bit of that creamsicle and add a little bit more orange to it. You want to make a very light orange, but you don't want it the same color as that creamsicle. Okay? So in between, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's my creamsicle right here. Whoop. Now, that's the color I just made. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to load it up on my tip mouse, okay? Just like this. And I am going to take it on the intersection, and I'm going to go right on top of that tail. Okay, so I want it to work just kind of like I did with the tree. All right, so you got a light orange, a dark orange on the inside, and then a nice dark color on the other side. We'll work them all together. Woo! Damn, that fox looks good. Okay, see that? Beautiful. Now we've got just a little bit of a contrast on that fox. We've got the dark red in the bottom. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to do, well, no, not the last thing, but close to the last thing. Wash off your tip mouse again. Okay. Wash her off. Give her a bath, you dirty little bison. We can do it. <laughs> Okay, and now you're going to grab some white on your brush, okay? If you want to add a tiny hint of orange, you can, but you're going to use just white. Like I said, it's your world, and you're going to come in 
and you're going to paint in the rest of this fox, the inside of that fox, with white. So everything that was creamsicle before now becomes white. Okay. Work it down right in there, right in the crack. See that? Take a little white. Work it right into the top of this little fox face right here. See that? Yeah, baby. And now you're going to work that white into the fox tail. Okay, right into the crack. There, baby. Oh my goodness, Gavasius. We have made a beautiful little fox. Ooh. Yes, Mama Fox, baby. Look at that. Woo! Foxy! Foxy lady! <laughs> okay? The last thing I'm going to have you do with this fox is take your brush with the smallest end. Not the brush part. No, no, no. The smallest. Thank you, Travis Bean. Thank you, Baba. The smallest end. And for me, that is my medium brush. Okay, for you, it probably is your little detail brush. Okay, so the one with the smallest tip on it. See that? Not this part, but this part. Okay? I'm going to dip it in black, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little black foxy nose, just a little black dot on his nose. Look at that. See his little nose? Okay. And then I'm going to put a little black dot where his eyeball should go. But remember, this fox is out and he's looking at the sky and he's hanging out. Okay. So you're going to put the fox's eye up towards the top so he's looking up. See that? Nice little dot, little foxy dot. Okay, beautiful. Now, do you remember before when I told you that whenever we did a shadow, okay, like remember how we did the shadow on the tree, if it's closest to us, it's going to be darker. All right, so now you are going to grab your medium brush. Okay, you're going to grab your medium brush. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to grab my first paint plate, this one right here. And I am going to grab that shadow color, the same one that I used for the uh, tree. Okay? I enjoy the class. Time for me to head to bed early morning tomorrow. Okay, Lynn Carey. Just a couple more steps, sweetie. You get a good night's sleep, and it's going to be on my page for you to finish up, okay? Don't you worry, Lynn. <laughs> We're going to take this. We're going to come up, go underneath that fox, just like this, okay? All the way to the edge of the fox tail. Whoop. All right. And then we're going to bring it down like this. And you're going to come in. You're going to go like this. Oop. Angle that just like that. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's so cool. All right. Now here we go. You're just going to paint in this shadow underneath the fox. Okay. Just like this. There we go. Look at that. Oh, little foxy baby. 
You are the man. You are the man tonight. I'm so proud of everybody that stuck with me. This was a little bit more challenging than we do, usually do, but if you stick it out and trust the process, that little foxy comes out like a maniac. What do you guys think? Isn't he awesome? Yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. Last, thank you for some great lessons, trying to learn some techniques. This was fun. Joining you from PEI Canada. Thank you, Caroline Black. Thank you, honey girl. I like that. Okay, last thing we're going to do on the Fox is we're going to bring in some awesome color to the sky in the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brush, just the tip, okay? Grab some white on the tip. Just like this, boom, boom, boom. And here we go, you guys, whoop, whoop. We're gonna do it right in a, like a nice pattern. Okay, I'm just taking this brush and I'm doing the outside of it, just like this, a little bit through the trees. Can you guys see that? Okay. We're gonna fatten this up, add a little bit of these down here. Make sure you do it individually because you want those nice, cute circles, right? We don't want any mush circles. Okay, no patterns. And there is my first wave of beautiful stars up in the sky. Look at that. Boom, chakalaka. Yes. Okay, now we're going to add the second wave down here, starting down here. Follow this pattern. Okay, just like that. Going to add a few more down here. And guess what, you guys? Once you get your beautiful stars in there, into the sky, your sky is zooming, your life is happy. Look at that, your fox is in the sky, screaming to his foxy friends, saying hallelujah. Once you guys get those stars in, guess what? Your masterpiece is complete, and I am so proud of you, okay? Take your little brush, what? Put your famous artist signature in the lower left, your right hand corner. Same one you're gonna use for the rest of your life. Here we go. That's how they're gonna identify you guys in the Met, you know. Just like that, when you're the Louvre, right? Okay, excellent. Good job, everybody. You made it through. This wasn't a beginner painting. We stepped it up a notch on Mr. Fox. Okay, everybody, I will see you guys in one week next Sunday. Again, this is going to be on my Artful Nights main page. If you haven't liked Artful Nights main, please do. I can come into your living room every Sunday night. Ah! And um, again, it'll be on my page for a week. Then it will go to the YouTube channel so you can watch it there and paint your foxy there. Finish her up. All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Okay. Bye, everybody. Whoops. How do I end it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> bye, guys.